the whole problem with derivatives is that they're based upon what I believe will be the worst buzzword in the coming months and years, mm -hmm. and that is counterparty risk. Um, and, and mind you, that's one of the things about precious metals is that they're assets that are not simultaneously someone else's liability. There is no counterparty risk, but with a derivative, a derivative is valued via the counterparty's ability to make good. And this is the systemic nature of things these days when you have a quadrillion in derivatives. When you look at just the top four commercial banks, like yeah. JP Morgan, Citibank, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, they have somewhere in the neighborhood of $150 trillion, just those banks, in global derivatives. If one counterparty fails what does it do to the rest? It's a daisy chain. It's like they're all interconnected. Like the hair on your head yeah. is, you know, it's not perfect. They're all tangled together. If you look yeah. real close, well, that's a derivative. If one piece breaks, then, well, if this yeah. counterparty breaks, it messes up that guy who's got 12 deals with these people and 18 deals with these people, and the whole thing blows up. Dominoes. And that's right. It's a domino um, chain. And you're right when you talk about derivatives, it's a very, very big deal. And most of these derivatives, a lot of these derivatives are centered around interest rates. That's the problem when you have this massive, massive tangling of derivatives that really no one even knows the health of them or, or the total value of them because of all the counterparties. And, you know, that's why when, for example, Credit Suisse failed, they needed to be bailed out by UBS or could have brought down the system. This is a very big problem. We look at the Belt Road Initiative, the largest infrastructure project in human history, which is China's way for connecting Asia, Africa, uh, South America, parts of Europe. It, right now, it's 75% of human population, 50% uh, wow. of global GDP. Uh, that's just part of it. You have the BRICS, Brazil, yeah. Russia, India, China, South Africa, plus the new six countries who join, including United Arab Emirates, Iran, and Saudi Arabia. You have the majority of all the oil wow. production in the world. You have uh, Argentina, which is the largest uh, natural gas producer in, in South America and controls the Straits of Magellan. You have the Straits of Hormuz controlled by, by Egypt and, and, and the Middle East countries. You have a, a, a rallying cry that is pushing back against the, the dollar hegemony, against the bully, uh, bullying, like what we talked about the Iraq, against the hypocrisy. Yeah. It The glue that will make it work, I believe, will be gold because the Bank of International Settlements, which is the central bank or central bank, the most powerful bank in the world, in 2019 quietly reclassified gold as the world's only other tier one reserve asset. Now let that sink in for a second. Mm. The world's only other tier one reserve asset. Do you think there's any coincidence that the central banks of the world have bought more over the last 18 months than at any time in history? And and ever since they have, um, and even a year and a half before they made this announcement, the central banks of Europe have gone on a massive not only buying spree, but also a repatriation spree. They have repatriated their gold from the New York Fed and the Bank of England to hold it because... It is an asset that has no counterparty risk. But I truly do believe that it will be the peg to a new system, a system that has lost its way, a system that is based upon debt instruments and promises rather than what I think we are heading into, a new system that will be based upon commodities and transparency. Um, no one wants promises anymore, and I think they want something legitimate. And that's where a marriage of blockchain and central bank digital currencies and gold pegging to a new system um, will come up. Mm -hmm. In the past 18 days, the United States has added $444 billion to the deficit. Uh, that's an $11 trillion annualized debt or wow. addition to the debt. It took this country 199 years to accumulate the first $450 billion. We did it in the last 18 days. Wow. The acceleration of wow. the debasement of the currency, the destruction of the value of the dollar is, is it, look, since they raised the debt ceiling, we're a mm. basically $2 trillion added to the debt. It took this country over 210 years to do that. And here we are. And so you're talking about a situation where I think to your point, the world has had it. And now they're finding safety in numbers. When you talk about the BRICS nations, 
not only are you talking about the majority of all the oil production in the world because of, of OPEC, the majority of every OPEC country is on the Belt Road. Half of them now are in the BRICS. This goes on and on. They hold the majority of the rare earth metals. They hold the majority of all the commodities and the majority of human population. When you put together mm. BRICS, the Belt Road, the mm. Shanghai Cooperation Organization, and the Eurasian Economic Union, all these, all these countries, all these organizations are tied together. In fact, President of Belarus just called for a meeting to join together the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, the Eurasian Economic Union, and, and the BRICS. And by the way, in the last year, Iran has joined both the BRICS and the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, as has Saudi Arabia. And Shanghai Cooperation Organization is the largest military, regional military and financial corporation, um, financial comp uh, organization Forces, yeah. in the world. And yeah. so you put all these, these people together, you're talking almost 85% of human population. Wow. And they're not going green and they are joining together and they are rallying together against the hypocrisy and the hegemony. So yes, this is a very, very big deal. And the worst part about it is that most people have no idea that this is happening right underneath their nose and you can't get out of the way of what you don't see coming. But the ramifications of the dollar losing its petrol reserve status is extraordinary. And I ask people all the time, what makes the dollar the world reserve currency? Very few people know. Well, there are three things. One, the protection of the Saudi kingdom since 1974 is what has made the dollar the petrodollar. So when you talk about, okay, the full faith and credit of the U.S. government, okay, 155 trillion in debt, 5 trillion in assets, the largest being large, largest portion of that asset base being student debt of 1.6 trillion. You take right. that out, we have three and a half trillion in assets backed up against 155 trillion in debt. We're insolvent. We're 130 percent debt to GDP. And you go back through history. There has never, ever been a time ever in history never. where a country crosses 130 percent debt to GDP and has not defaulted in some form. What happens when the world says or, or Saudi Arabia and OPEC says, hey, listen, right when you took off as president Biden, you signed an executive order telling us in the world that by 2030, you'll be at least 50% green, right. by 2050, completely green. So look, we appreciate all you've done for us, but we've decided to take other currencies for oil. Maybe it's the new soon to be BRICS currency that will be pegged to gold, or maybe it will be gold, or maybe it'll be yuan, or maybe it'll be ruble, but whatever it is, if it's not the dollar, bang, like that. Every single country on the planet that has had the stockpile dollars, hmm for the past 50 years, no longer has any incentive to do so. So they'll drop them in favor of other assets. And when they do, and you see this tsunami of, of dollars coming to hit our shores, the byproduct of that is hyperinflation. The byproduct of hyperinflation are accelerating interest rates to compensate for the loss of purchasing power. And as that happens, that is inversely correlated to stock prices, bond prices, real estate prices, along with the dumping dollar, there is your great reset. Stocks, bonds, dollars, and 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 real estate all collapse at the exact same time.